Hi Taurus, it's Jay from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings. This is your What the Fuck reading, 14th to the 20th of, I was going to say January, but it's not, it's February. Um, lovelies, welcome to the channel. Those of you that are returning, thank you so much for your support. All the new people, you are so very welcome here. If you like what I do, please hit the like button, share and subscribe. Um, and let's just get on with the reading. There is one announcement to make. I have got some goodies for you because we are getting on with the website. And I have started an Etsy page today. As soon as that goes live, I will let you know. Um, some of the things that are going to be for sale on the website are these little spiritual stuff jars. And they are stuffed full of little goodies. Um, this is... Oh, I can't get it out of the jar. This is 42 little messages, affirmations, manifestations, all that nice stuff. And then in there is a little fold over of blanks. So you can do your own manifestations, your own messages. That comes in the jar. And also in the little jar of magic, the little spiritual stuff jar, you have got these lovely, gorgeous little wooden angels absolutely beautiful i'm calling them your wish and worry angels um you take one out of the bag and you tell it your worry or your wish you place it under your pillow and by the morning it usually has done its magic now also in that bag are some tiny weeny little crystals beautiful little crystals um if you're taking the angels out, please leave the crystals in the bag, in your pot, and return your angel to her bag, because that little lot of crystals there will help keep your stuff charged up. Now, separately from the little spiritual stuff jars, I'm doing little spiritual stuff bottles of crystals. These, my darlings, are going to have a little bit of string around the top of them, so you can just pop them into a glass of water um, and energise the glass of water if you want to. Um, you can use energised water for apps. You can drink it. You can, just don't empty these out into the water. Just put pop that, that jar in up to about the neck where the rope is going to be. Um, you can pop these in your pocket. Pop them beside your bed. Um, if you're going to charge them up in the full moon, please do that. Um, they've already been charged, but if you're going to charge them up in the full moon, remember to move them out of the window, as we don't want any fires, before the sun comes up. So, that's the little bottles. And then, separately from the jar, I've decided to do ten little angels, your wish and worry angels, with ten individual crystals in a pack, um, that will also be for sale separately. So, there's some of the merchandise. The um, Oracle decks aren't ready yet. They're still at the printers. As soon as they're ready, I will do, I promise you, I will do videos to show you exactly what they're like, what they're about, um, and how you can use them. And they will be for sale on um, the website. Now, on the Etsy site, that is going to be the only way that you are going to be able to book readings with me until we've sorted out the website shop um and then there'll be two ways for you to book readings with me um but for now we're keeping it on the etsy store the readings start at 9.99 um for a three card reading guaranteed to be 10 minutes long um right up to an urgent emergency reading which i will get done within 24 hours for you um, that's going to be £120 and there's prices all in between those prices as well. So as soon as it's up and running, I will get that sorted for you. So let's get on with your reading, Taurus. So I'm going to energy card for Taurus, please. 14th to the 20th of February. So I'm being told there was some significance that happened in January for you. Some event um, 
that kind of side swiped you a little bit i'm not going to say it completely had you off your feet but it side swiped you and it's taking you a little bit of time to get your breath back now my darlings we have got the cosmic womb divine feminine um whether you're male or female it does seem to be that you need to curl up in a little uh ball under a blanket and understand that you are very very protected um and it's almost like this side swipe has made you look at something again and you you are learning again about something else it, it, it was just one of those things that happened and it's made you question what you already know and you've gone off to do some more um research this is about growth this is about growth within the cosmic womb this is about your human journey um coming from the spirit world and then returning to the spirit world so whatever this was i'm kind of getting that it was a very spiritual experience for you but it did make you question um what it is that you believe in and i'm not saying that it's taken your beliefs away it may have well deepened your beliefs um but it has got you um kind of thinking about things I don't know if it was, I just heard misinformation as well. So I don't know if it sideswiped you and then you kind of figured out it was misinformation that somebody um, had offered to you. Um, I don't know. They just, it's coming in, it's almost like they're telling me in snippets because it came in snippets towards you as well. It wasn't like you got one whole load of information um, all at once. Um, you got it in bite-sized things and, and now it's kind of like you're having to kind of like piece it all back together again. Okay, darling. So, your manifestation... Oh, God, I'm not taking that many. We'll be here all bloody night manifestation wish fulfillment and why it may be fucked another manifestation card for taurus please okay Your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be for Taurus. 14th to the 20th of February. Oh, ho, ho. that was half the deck that just fell out. Just fell out. my darlings what the fuck is out of your hands for this week for Taurus I'm going to put that there because that wasn't on that one to your true self and your outcomes lovelies the outcome for Taurus thank you so my lovelies you have got the six of chalices as what started your what the fuck for this week now this little sweet um page of chalices is did i say the six of chalices oh i'm sorry um it's the page of chalices so this lovely little page, it could be a younger person around you who has got the qualities of water signs. That's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
Um, when I say they've got the qualities, that could be their birth sign, but I'm kind of getting that they've got this loving, giving, nurturing side to them, and they're never happier than when they're doing something artsy or crafty, um, or something that they really, really enjoy doing. And um, what they're doing is they're getting you to reconnect with something that you used to do as a child. They're getting you, and it's not just the reconnection to what it is that you did, it's the reconnection to the energy, the feeling, the emotion um, behind that. And they're teaching you to bring that into the here and now. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to start doing what you did before. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to start doing what you did before and pick up where you left off. But it does mean that they really want you to feel that, that emotion where you felt loved, comforted and completely and utterly safe. They want you to catapult that into the here and now so that you've got some measurement of where you were and where you are now um and that is going to help you get yourself back into alignment with yourself it will help you learn to love yourself as well because i am getting the feeling that um there is some sort of element around you where you feel really good about yourself and then all of a sudden you have a go at yourself um, and it's almost like that ball in the china shop thing, like you go speeding along, yes, 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 and then all of a sudden you look behind you go, oh, fuck, how did that happen? This massive disaster, and it isn't a massive disaster, that's just your perception of it, and what they're saying is, what you felt back then, even if it was just for one day, one minute, one hour, it doesn't matter, bring that into the here and now, because that is how they want you to feel all the time, they want you to feel that all the time. So, my lovelies, facing your fears and taking your power back. Um, facing your fears is having a voice, is speaking up for yourself. Let somebody know that they're not going to make choices for you any longer. That you are going to make these choices for yourself. Um, you do need to speak up, though, because you have got the horned god is coming in behind that who is the advocate for everything in nature including you and i from the tiniest bug to the tiniest little flower right up to the biggest animals and creatures on the planet they give things a voice that haven't got a voice and he is saying come on you really need to find your voice even if it's in a vocation that you're doing um if it's something that you're supporting that you um have kind of lost track of it because i've just lost track of it um they're saying find your voice again but especially around this person and this could be a boss it could be somebody that you're close to um appears to take your voice away in favor of their own self-importance um and then right in behind the advocacy card, the finding your voice card. When you find your voice, in comes celebrations of a partnership. Now, this can be a loving, giving partnership. It can be a family partnership. It can be a business partnership. There's been some hard work going, bringing that harvest in and then turning it into apple and pear cider, it looks like. it, Or it could be apple and pear juice, depending on whether you drink or not. But the Four of Wands do, does actually indicate that there could be a real good celebration going on. Celebration of bringing in this harvest could include an engagement, a marriage or an anniversary coming up. So facing your fears and taking your... Not facing your fears and taking your power back, sorry darlings. Your manifestation, your wish fulfilment, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. Now when I laid that down I was like... Hold on, what's that all about? Because I suddenly got this fleeting thing that you've been concentrating on one part of your um, choices, your blessings, your options, and you've really polished it up beautifully, you have. But all of these need your attention as well. Now, you can choose just to do the one if you want, but it's not going to get you to where you need to be. And I'm getting from your manifest where did that card come from 
Now it was laying in between, and I'm not surprised by this. It was laying in between the two, so I don't know if I've knocked it off of one, but I'm going to read it in between. This card would indicate that you haven't got the confidence that you should have to know that you have got the experience as the craftsman to surge forward, to carve out a career for yourself, make some financial advancements and have a pretty good home life. Um, I am going to go on to this card and then I'm going to read this card in between. Because on your movement and your journey, you have got the Eight of Pentacles, which is the master craftsman. You've mastered your craft. You are there. You are at the top of your game. So why you are manifesting this could be that there is something brand new that you want to try out. There is something else that you want to do. But whatever it is, you're at the top of the game as you are. Um, and it's not going to be a hard step for you to go from this manifestation, this wish fulfillment, into the master craftsman in a brand new way. It, it's literally a sidestep. It is not a huge, I need to go and do all of this apprenticeship again. Da, da, da. It, it is literally a sidestep. You can do all of this and these skills that you are manifesting like mad. I need this. I want this. Da, 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 da. Your skills are transferable, Taurus. So the card, I don't know where it came, but I'm going to do it as an in-between card. As that step card, it means that you need to leave your comfort zone in order to go out on a quest. In order to get what it is that you want, what your project, your plan, your desire, your passion is about. And that, my darlings, I'm going to say that's probably why that ended up an in-between card. Because that is your stepping stone, leaving your comfort zone. Taking that leap of faith and just knowing that you can go out and get what you want. You can. It's a sidestep. It is literally a sidestep. Now, this is the two of ones. There's two little froggies leaving their... Um, comfort zone leaving where they're, they're really happy and content and they're off on their jollies to find this quest. So it could be that you are doing this with some, somebody else and in comes the collaboration card now. Some people say that this is the marriage card. Some people are saying that it's a threesome card, whatever. For me, it's the collaboration card. It's Surprising information coming from surprising sources. It's the tutor becoming the pupil, the pupil becoming the tutor. It is finding out information that may be surprising to you. Maybe somebody younger than you has got a little pearl of wisdom that maybe they shouldn't know at their age. Or perhaps it's somebody older than you that has kept banging on about the same thing and all of a sudden the pennies dropped. You've gone, ah, that's what that means. And it happens to the best of us. It really does. But right in behind that collaboration card. You have got your best summer's day that you've ever had times it a thousand. This is wishes and dreams coming true. This is warmth and sunshine returning to you. It's warming the cockles of your heart. Um, there is something very spiritual and very special about these two cards together. Because it's saying that this collaboration that you are doing is going to make you feel more confident about what it is that you can achieve on your own when you are in a partnership with somebody else achieving it under different circumstances it's almost like you find your light under a bushel you're, you're like oh my god yeah i can do this because there's somebody else there to bounce off of now you're very grounded you're I know you're a bully in a China stock shop, Taurus, but you're still an earth sign. Very grounded, very passionate, but very grounded. Um, and I'm going to say to you that I feel that there is possibly a fire sign, which is Aries, Leo or Sag. Now, I'm going to guess that maybe it could possibly be a Leo, doesn't have to be. Could just be somebody that has got that energy, that kind of like get up and go. I'm just going to go and get it. You can sit here and wait if you like, but I am just going out to get it. Um, and that's the energy that I'm getting from this middle bit 
that you feel better once somebody has come up towards you and gone, well, let's do it together then. And you're like, yes, yes, I can do it when I've got somebody around me. And it's almost like they unpeel the layers for you so that then your light can shine really brightly. So what can't you do about this week? You have got the six of incomes the karma waters now you may not feel like you're in karma waters but the universe is saying you're getting there the karma waters are on their way they're making sure they're on their way and as things start to calm down you start getting messages thick fast and furious um this is a really fast moving night it's almost like as he gallops past if you miss the message that's it it's gone um so wherever you are, be very attuned to messages coming in and going out. Make oh gosh, making sure that you um, you don't lag behind. And the reason I'm saying that is because right in behind the night of a famous, which is this fast moving, I'm sending a message, I'm getting it out there, is this plodder. And this is you, the night of pentacles and it's almost like come on jump 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 because you want to catch up with the knight of famous you're not going to do it he will come around again he'll probably lap you honestly not lump you lap you um so the knight of pentacles heading in the right direction absolutely uh maybe a bit slower than you would like but they're saying enjoy moving into those calmer waters where you're able to see your future more clearly. And I just heard that the messages will come around a second time. You are not going to miss them, uh, but you need to take your time. You need to enjoy the journey at this point um, and just trust that the messages are going to come in thick, fast and furious. And it is going to be messages of how you can get rid of things that no longer serve you that have got no purpose in your life whatsoever. Um, and it may be that you're just not ready as you go into karma waters to hear that. And it could be that it will take a second lap around you for them to come in and go, this is what you need to be doing. So reconnecting with your true self, dance, you need to reconnect with your emotions and how you're feeling. It's almost like You've cut yourself off from any emotion at all recently. And in comes this beautiful queen of chalices. She's going to be Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio if this is somebody around you that is giving you these lessons. But it is definitely somebody who really does believe in the power of healing and the ocean. She really does believe that you need to fill up your chalice for yourself and it is the overspill that you offer out to other people. And she also is the queen of diversion. Now, that doesn't mean she diverts and she doesn't deal with anything. She diverts to take a different angle on things, a different look, a different perspective. And then she will come up with the best course of action. And that is how they're saying you are going to reconnect to your true self. So, my lovelies. Your outcome for this week is the Nine of Pentacles. Now, usually this is my prickly card. Um, but I got, as soon as I laid this down, I got they're overprotecting themselves. Now, I have to say that if you are overprotecting, you are rejecting. You are sending people away with a flea in their ears. Um, you do not have to stand over your projects and plans in quite a fearsome way. There are ways of keeping your wands under wraps. And if it is your passion and your desire that you're trying to keep under wraps, um, just know that rejecting is not protecting, darlings. It's just, you might as well just keep slapping yourself in the bloody face. And just on cue, as I said that, in comes the Six of Pentacles. This is my charity card. This is giving and taking with dignity and grace. And what I'm going to say for you, Taurus, is you have fooled 
other people a lot of kindnesses and i'm not saying monetary wise i'm not saying materialistic wise i'm i'm kind of saying like from the heart you afford people a lot of kindness and it is now time for you to reap the benefits of that kindness that you give other people and learn to be kinder to yourself so let's ask the whispering woods if they can add anything to the reading for taurus please okay so taurus you have got let's put my bins back on this writing's always too small grounded really for an earth sign Keep your roots and stand taller than the trees. Oh, keep to your roots and stand taller than trees. That sounds better, doesn't it? Uncertainty. The shades of grey within the fo fog will eventually lift. That is so true. So, my darlings, let's ask the angels and the ancestors for some knowledge, wisdom and guidance. 14th to the 20th of February for Taurus. That one's on the floor. Anything else? Okay. Well, there's two on the floor. So that was the first one. I think that was some third. Okay, so we have got arrow, my darlings. Surround yourself with protective energy. Now, I was really angry yesterday. I saw another reader read this card and she gave it almost the opposite meaning. Surround yourself in protective energy. Cloak yourself um, in a silver cloak and bounce off the bad stuff but let the good stuff in like i said to you protection and rejection do not go hand in hand they don't just because you think you're protecting yourself doesn't mean that you're not rejecting others so surround yourself with protective energy now this is going to be energy from something that you know that works for you and do not get caught up that you need the protection it may be that you want the protective energy because you are feeling quite, and I'm going to use that word, fucking prickly right now. You are feeling like, just like a passion and a desire when you started a project and a plan. When you come to protecting yourself with a project and a plan or another person, you are fearsome. You are that bull that just stamps its foot and it snots everywhere, honestly. Um, so, yes, this protective energy, my darling, this is about, really about protecting yourself from yourself on this reading today. Peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. Now, you could be perfectly right, but you need to let go of the need to be right. You just got to understand that you can tell somebody you're right until you're blue in the face but until they're ready willing and able to accept that you're in the right they're not going to be there so you're going to have to let that one go my darlings winter take care of your needs absolutely goes in with the kindness card see us see beyond the current situation and shaman trust in higher forces just put it out there. Just let Pete, let the universe know what it is that you want. Darlings, that's your reading for the 14th to the 20th of February. I hope everybody is okay. Please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.